back. Uh, today's journal I created using Calico Collage Sunny Morning Kit. Love this kit. I've been wanting to work with this for a while because um, I'm crazy about sunflowers. And this is just such a vibrant kit. So I'm really, really excited to share with you guys. This is a fabric journal <clears throat> that I've designed and created. Um, I loved the flaps on my envelope um, journals that I've been doing. So I knew I wanted to design something that was similar to that, but you know, a bit sturdier. So this was just perfect. Um, so I'm really, really proud of how this has come out. And what I've done, the closure, I've just kept this separate. It's all been stitched. Um, and I didn't attach it to this particular journal like I did in the previous one. But I wanted to show you guys, this is some really old, um, <clears throat> I don't know, I don't know much about, um, you know, vintage trims or laces. So I don't even know, with that being that wide, what you would classify that at. So I'm totally... Um, if anybody knows, please, please remark below because I'd like to know a bit more about, um, I'm going to these flea markets here and it would be nice to know a little bit more about um, vintage trims and, and things. Uh, I don't know, maybe if somebody out there has a, a good book they could recommend, that would be awesome because I really enjoy learning more about um, the things that I use. <clears throat> so there two signatures, the five hole pamphlet stitch again, and then on the front I've added some of this trim with some um, some more of the zigzag stitching. I've uh, hand stamped sunflower on there. This is named the sunflower. And then I just um, took a couple of the um, journal cards, I tore and distressed that, and then did lots of stitching around. So it's got a lot of uh, detail to it. Inside I've got, this is another one of the uh, wallpaper, textured wallpapers. I've done some stitching, one of the journal cards too. And then I've also um, stamped the post, you know the postcard stamp we've all got from Hobby Lobby. Stamped that onto some cardstock and then I've stitched that in. And this is one of the um, mason jars. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. That is such a beautiful uh, mason jar. So much detail to that. And then here, I made a little, <coughs> excuse me guys, a little circle tuck spot there. And then I stamped a little B. Um, so I love how that's come out. This is beautiful papers stitching down there. Look at that. The colors. Wow. If you're longing for spring and summer, this is the kit for you because it is very bright and cheerful. Um, here's one of the pockets you get. And that's a journal card I've backed with some tea dyed and did some machine stitching around that. And this is one of the little fussy cut uh, elements that you get. So I've stitched um, cut it out and then glued that too. And this is just a another little journal card I had in my stash. So some more zigzag stitch. Let me make sure you guys are in. Sorry, I'm sitting down. I don't normally sit down when I'm doing these, but here's a altered paper clip I've made with um, one of the banners and tickets that comes. I've put some of the Irish linen thread behind and then I left some of the strings from this machine um, and then I just did a little bit of collaging there and put a brad this is you get that in the kit and then I put some various trims and fabric so this has all just been clipped in here beautiful colors in that you've got some um, turquoise with the yellows and golds and uh, whoops I've clipped two pages together hang on there isn't that pretty page 
really, really nice. Yeah, I've been I've been uh, wanting to work with this for a while. I love these colors. Here I've made a. Um, it's like a little pocket that I've stitched, and I'll show you. This is a bit of um, handmade paper I had left over, so I've got that in there for just the texture of it. And then that's one of the images. Um, you get this. And I've doubled that, I've backed that onto some scrapbook paper and then that. So this flips up. So you've got a little hidden space there. But here I did some collaging and uh, some more of the linen thread. And then this is just a journal card I made and backed it with some tea dyed paper. And you got lots of, uh, you got lace back there. And then I did a lot of stitching around that. Love the lines in the paper. Really pretty set. And it's a big kit as well, so you get a lot of elements, a lot of um, lot of pages come in this kit. So I was I had no problem doing two signatures. In fact, I've got some paper left over. Um, here I've just did some some more little flip tags. I like these. I really like these in my journals and I've just backed them with various things from my stash. I'm trying to get through my stash guys. Oh, every time I start making headway I do another project and then I fill up my stash bucket again. <laughs> Here I've done a embossed uh, pocket. Let me show you guys that. That's one of those Anna Griffin um, embossing folders I've I just love those. I've had those for, gosh, a year, year and a half now, and they are my go-to. I absolutely love those images. <clears throat> this is a beautiful book I recently purchased, and I'll share that with you guys. Just give me two seconds, because this is a book that I do believe you junk journals are going to be interested in because it's very much along the lines of Edith Holden and it's called Richard Bell's Britain. Keep an eye out for this guys because <clears throat> it's very affordable right now because it hasn't gotten uh, you know Edith Holden is hard to come by now um, but this one I've checked on eBay in the UK and it's readily available. Fantastic book. Um, because it's, like I said, the illustrations are similar. Now, it's mostly um, greens and woodland. But I just wanted to share that with you guys because I know a lot of you are into the nature and this is a beautiful book. If you can pick this up, I think it, it's you'll find a lot of use for this. Um, so keep that in mind. Richard Bell's Britain. I picked that up at the car boot the other day, and uh, wow, I was impressed when I looked at it. And then I did a bit of research, because I wondered how easy it would be to get my hands on another, but it'll take me ages to get through that. And I don't mind sharing with people. Some people are really precious about uh, things. I'm not that way, because <clears throat> the way I look at it, I wouldn't have gotten to this level without a, lo a lot of help. Um, from this community and if I can do something that helps somebody else I'm all for that the world is uh, you know we got to help each other out and um, so anything that you guys are interested in I'll do everything I can to try to point in the direction of you know <clears throat> of anything that I know of that would would be helpful that's a little notebook I made. Sorry, I'm just chattering away. I should need to stay focused here. Um, just some collaging from some book page, some trim. Yeah, sorry. This is why I can't. I try. I can't talk when I'm doing these because I get sidetracked. So I'm really apologize for that. Um, there's the other part of that. I just think the colors are beautiful, especially if you're doing a nature themed uh, book. It's it it's going to coordinate nicely with that. Look at that. It's not pretty. Here's a um, glassine pocket. 
I haven't put anything in that so you can fill that up. Here is where I stitched those uh, the backs of those tags to um, to this page so that you'd have the flips in it. Here I've done another little flip. This I love that. Doesn't that? Oh my gosh, I'm just going to show my age. That is so 70s right there. You can imagine in the 70s walking into a house and somebody would have had that wallpaper in their living room probably with green shag carpet. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, but I love it. I just yes, that's my favorite tag in the whole kit because I'm like, oh, that's so 70s. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> love this page. It's got the sunflower written on it. And here I've had this trim forever, and finally I I've had something I could use it in. Isn't it beautiful? I believe I bought that from. Um, Creative Cafe, her shop. I'm pretty sure I got that from, and she has some fabulous stuff in there. I've only been able to buy off of her um, the one time when I was in the U.S. because I can't. I just can't have it shipped here now. It costs too much. I had a um, couple of things come, and yeah, the duties that they put on stuff. It's it's ridiculous, guys. For um, if you're in the uh, oh sorry this will have a tag I put that in there to remind myself so this will have a tag guys <clears throat> I apologize I, I'm just not 100% with it so anyways that flips out you got a pocket there and then here I just did a couple other little flips with some tea dyed tags Love this belly band. It's really, really pretty. <coughs> Excuse me. Here I've got um, two little tuck spots. I love that image from the kit. It's so pretty against that black. Beautiful. A uh, little index card I've done some stamp, uh, punching on. Doily. That's a pretty page. Colors on that. With all the collaging. Beautiful. And here is a, um, you've got one, two, three pockets. And that's an, uh, another of the pages from that book. Isn't that pretty? I'll show you guys. Oh, I love this page. The, uh, is look at what she's she's got the calendar up there. Isn't that pretty? Oh, beautiful! And then you got the nice wide uh, margin, like when we were in elementary school, we were practicing writing. I love that. Here, um, I've just included this. I've glued it down. I don't know. I just like these, and you can open it up. There's a little pocket for you, but I think it's nice because you can have a little secret secret writing place there. This is some Edith Holden uh, book page. <clears throat> Getting through her books pretty um, pretty good. <laughs> um, here I did a little tuck spot. These are a couple of the journaling cards from the kit. And then you've got a pocket here. This is the center of the signature. Another pocket here. And then I just glued this one down so you could do some writing there. This, I made this into like a little floating, this comes in the kit, I made it into a little floating pocket. I love that. And then this has been altered paper clip. And here I did some stitching around another one of those big tickets or tags that you get. And then that's another journal card. What's everybody going to be doing this weekend? I'm, I've got a few chores around the house I've kind of fallen behind on, so I'm going to try to do that. Um, and then tomorrow I'm planning to get up and go to the car boot. Here I've made a little um, tag, and then you've got two tuck spots there. 
so yeah, I'm just going to kind of <clears throat> have a chill out weekend. Um, been working a lot lately, so I really want to just take this weekend, try to get over this cold, and uh, recoup. This is just a couple of little um, various things from my stash with a couple of pockets. Love that page. Other of the book pages, some more of that uh, vintage trim, and here is another one of the pockets from the kit, and that's a journaling card from the kit. So pretty, and then just a couple of other things from my stash. <clears throat> here I made a glassing pocket. And did some collaging there with some trim, some of the cutout, and then I stamped just a note. And then this has got some old trim that's been stitched up there. And then I did some machine stitching around that. And then this is another of the journal cards. Oh, I love that saying. That's beautiful. Such a pretty kit. It's really, really nice. Um, to work with these kits because I told you guys I'm struggling on the one journal that I've tried to just do with, um, you know, really no theme and I'm finding out that it's just, I, I really need a theme before I start a journal because that one's just keeps getting pushed further and further back. <laughs> um, here is another one of the big coin envelopes that um, there's nothing in it but it's it's been glued in so that this one is permanent. <clears throat> I do love these. I love the way they look. And then that's, that's that journal. Oh, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I have just really, really loved being back um, with the fabric. And... I just, I don't know, I'm really loving um, working with the material and trying to get better on my machine. I've got one other thing I'll share with you guys once I get this all. Oh, I'll just set it to the side there. So that's that journal. That's going to go in the Etsy shop. Let me just show you another project um, that I worked on this week. Uh, well, I can't find it, guys. I don't know. Well, I won't take the time to look at it. I'll show it in the next video. Um, so, yeah, sorry about that. I thought I had it handy, but I, I must have misplaced it. Or put, put it away. I'm so tidy, and then I forget where the heck I put stuff. But anyways, so thanks so much, guys, for stopping by today. Um, and I hope everybody has a great weekend, and I will be back next week. Take care. Bye.